It's dangerous, as I said. You can't do it alone, as I said. You need truth, as I said. People told me horrible stories about point conception. It's the wildest waters on the whole west coast. Come on. Yes, I agree. It can get rough if the conditions are matching. If the wind blows against the tidal currents, if the boat and crew is unprepared, things get hot pretty quick. But the wildest waters on the west coast are dangerous? No way. I think I had a regular day with winds between 20 and 30 knots when I passed Point Conception in the morning. I stood around 15 miles offshore and timed my crossing with the tides. It's too sad that you probably don't see all the stars, but man, we have lots of stars here. So it's 6.30 in the morning. It was a nice ride tonight. Point Conception is over there. And we are going there to the Channel Islands. We are just crossing the traffic separation stream and we had one big cargo vessel crossing us around two street miles in front of us. But now it looks like there's no other boat around here. Everything went well and I had a very pleasant sail. The waves were pushing me and I could see the little grey shape of the Channel Islands in front of me growing bigger and darker. It goes so fast from complete darkness to daylight. First couple of albatross are cruising around us and we only have around 25 miles to go. So it's just another five hours and then we are in San Miguel Island. So watch this, 7374, and if it's a bigger one, so we are flying. We generator helped us through the night, producing good power. So I could run radar, autopilot, AIS, I had everything on. But I couldn't catch any fish, that's too sad. Um, I really want the fish. Um, kind of wild ride at the moment. So when I left yesterday night, I decided to put the main in the third reef just to have it up and stabilize the boat, give it a little push. Mostly the Genoa were just producing uh, any speed. And I must say I'm pretty happy with that decision. So it worked well. It's always great to see when it's just a shade on the horizon and slowly when you come closer it's turning into bays and rocks and stuff like this. So we are approaching San Miguel Island. I dropped my hook in the lee of a high mountain in Curly Harbor. No one else around except a couple hundred sea creatures. Awesome.
This is so amazing and way better than in any aquarium I've been in my whole life. whole bay on my own. Okay, I share it with a couple seals. It's a marine sanctuary. Um, it's, uh, I think, you know, all these regulations in America are kind of confusing to me, but it's a state marine park or whatever. It is, it has regulations here, a lot of regulations, but it's allowed to land here. It's not allowed to go inland it's per prohibited but they permit to to land here and to anchor here as long as you don't take anything out of the sea and don't disturb the life here like you know i'm just sitting here and he keeps on dreaming whatever he's dreaming about oh you awake now Yeah, for me it's the first time I'm so close to these animals and they are not running away. Of course they are kind of alerted but I just move very slowly and take my distance of course. I mean I'm here, this is around 4 to 5 meters away which is the maximum I go. I don't want to get any closer. I have a couple hundred eyes watching me already. But it's, it's awesome. It's really nice. I enjoy my peaceful neighbors here and they can be sure that I'm not going to harm them. You got anything to say? No? I enjoyed my time there, had a walk along the beautiful natural beach and then went back to zero. It was a long sail and I need a little rest. What's next on SY0? I sail over to Santa Cruz and jump headfirst into one of the biggest tea caves in the world. Awesome. I wonder how far I can go in here. It's just me.